Before we get into all that, we're recording, right? Yes, we is. Before we get into yeah. all that, this yo, yo, is yo. episode 42, Return of Niagara Falls. And this is different. Yes, we is here. We is in the building. I am Umbad the Nas. And to the right of me, we have... Groovy from the chest. Y'all already know. And to the left of me, we have... Big Steve's. Cuz Docs. We out here. You heard? Yeah, so who are you and what platforms can you be found on? Shit, you can find us on about everything. So I'm Cuz Docs. You just gotta type in C U Z D O X on anything. You'll find it anywhere. YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, Google Music, shit. Anything you can get your phone out, look up. You got us. Google, whatever. Fact, same shit. B I G S T E E Z E. Anywhere you listen to music, anywhere you go on social media. Okay, two different identities, but you got the same team, same label, gang, whatever. Yeah, right? well, like label, label mate type shit. Okay, okay. So what got you into music? Shit, I always just been heavy into just listening to rap music. My mom played a uh, classical guitar and uh, piano for a long time, so she was just really into music and shit. She was like hippie vibes, though. So she got me into that shit when I was real young, and then just kind of school, learning about shit over time, and then we got into just rapping just because, you know, the shit was just lit. We like listening to it. So, you know, like you said, everybody like to get around and freestyle and shit. Yeah. So, you know, I'd be niggas little Wayne babies. Everybody wanted to be Wayne. Wayne was my idol. You growing up, it's either Wayne or 50 Cent. Niggas wanted to be Wayne. I feel like it was a few more niggas <laughs> than just them two, but mainly. It's shit, you had Nas, nah, you had Fab. There's one missing. Big influence, yeah. though. <laughs> It was myself, it was either Wayne or 50 Cent. Yeah, 50 was doing too much. In what way? What do you mean? Uh, I ain't want to get shot. <laughs> <laughs> if I was going to get shot, I would rather do it like Wayne and accidentally shoot myself. Some some shit shit Bob, a well, shit. apparently in a, in a more recent video, he admitted that that wasn't the case. He yeah. tried to... Yeah, yeah, so you'd rather to go that way? Oh, no. Nah. Oh, no. I mean, I'm no, not trying to no, get no. shot nine times. I ain't, I ain't shut up bobbing myself. I'm not trying to shut up bobbing, man. When they said shut up, I like 8 Mile. You know, I scroll about 8 Mile about five times a day when I'm on Netflix. And I'm like, I should watch this. But I'm you not. Know, it's not I, cool I just about 8 Mile. You know what I don't? You know, I'm not even about to be funny. Shout out to Verbal Wars, though. Because <laughs> that's the reason why I don't watch 8 Mile. Because when I watch your yeah, battles, yeah. I watch 8 Mile. So he he's a battle Shout rapper, out right? Home, oh, yeah. Facts, facts. He battles in Verbal War Zone. And they okay. battle on beat. Oh, say less, say less. So that's why I said every time I look at Eight Mile on Netflix, it's like, damn, I watch It's better when we do it. So I've seen this shit, man. It's way better when we do it. It's better when we do every day now. Uh, and it's you like, got a battle rapper you like look up to type shit? Anybody that's in like URL? Um, if it's fluctuated over time. Facts. But like my top three is always going to be Hitman, Holla, Sue, <laughs> Surf, Charlie Clips. Okay, yeah, I feel you. Always. As far as the new niggas, it would have to be... Shit, chess. I be trying to keep up with that <laughs> shit. There be, be so many new niggas. <laughs> oh God! But like that, at least as far as the first three I named, those are the more like known. They've been in this shit nah, yeah, since thanks. we was in like middle school, high school, or some shit. Yeah, they're a little so, more mainstream. Shut up. <laughs> Like, yeah, as far as the, like, I don't know. I fuck with more of the female battlers than the niggas because the niggas is kind of like, all, they all the same. They, they all the look same sound like somebody. Exactly. I feel like I girls, I just can't get over it. They sound, I mean, this might be sexist. It sounds sexist. They just sound like girls. They sound like females. And I just be like, I just sound like two girls. So you can't get over yeah, exactly. yelling and shit. That's what it turns into. Living in the city is what it sounds yeah, like anywhere. Like, that shit sound like Bebo, racket. I'm not knocking them. Shout out to them. Right, like, so that shit is a hard sport to be in. Nah, fuck. But I just can't, like, it's the same with, like, female rappers. It sounds bad once again, but I can't sit there and listen to you talk about your wet ass pussy like it's just so it's not for I me feel you it's, not it's for just me. not me i can't that's listen as far to as like the music though as far as in that's battle all rap, they talk about in battle, battle rap, they don't rap, do that but I there's can't. a couple that will yes there's a main two but everybody else is not on that type to of me topic. i think it's just watching a bunch of feminine women go out all like can't watch the only argue. person I think could do that and look sexy still is Remy Ma. Like, yeah. He's, yeah. Shout out to Remy. Like, you so feel me? That Besides that, that I don't want to see so that what shit. What the fuck? I ain't know my Kodak Black. I don't care if she got a pussy. I ain't know that Pippin ain't easy. She shit. was a battle rapper. Hell so, nah. how was it on? It's different for her. She different. She different. She different. Just gotta get over that. She different. She get the pass. I see the picture she for the other day. But ain't nobody like Ari Lennox. Shout out to Dreamville, J. Cole, all of them because 
Like, y'all fuck with J. Cole? Yeah, I fuck yeah. with J. Cole. Yeah, like, y'all fuck with Dreamville? Yeah, I mean, right, I fuck with Kaz. Right. Yeah, I fuck with Kaz. Kaz okay. yeah. I ain't fully invested, but I know they is. Yeah. Okay, that's what's saying. I'm, I'm with him on that. Yeah, for sure. She's so beautiful. You fucking with her? You ain't lying. I'm gonna get her on the show, bro. Hey, get on top of that shit. <laughs> and we're gonna take her home. Bing bong. <laughs> Mommy, she's so beautiful. Nah, I'm joking. I like that you went in this direction because I got a section for I'm not a segment for y'all in a little bit. Ooh, we got fun. the segment. We always got segments. It's gonna be fun. Segments is the new us. Like, we about to take over the fucking internet. This yeah, whole studio, everything that happens in this studio is gonna be a sensation. Everything. Shit, so Everything. You you changed your name. I think I was watching. Um, shout out. Um, point of view. Um, you say you changed your name. Yeah, because the name change, right? Yeah, at first it was. Lil Why Easy did you do that again? Because it was another nigga named Lil Easy. My shit was getting mixed up. Okay, your music. Yeah, like they was going under the same profile page, so I had to change my shit and then switch it all over. Yeah, that should be a big problem. Music distribution. It's just similar spell shit. They lock you in a lot of times. You got to really stand out nowadays. Mm. And it's hard when it's three hundred thousand Lils. Copy. Yeah. So I just had to change the bill. rights, people. Copyrights. If you own your name, everybody gotta change they shit. Do your paperwork mind. for real. Yeah, facts. Do your paperwork. And that shit, bro. It's a necessary. lot of people ain't doing their paperwork. Though. Be a lot of niggas At all, stuff. and that's it's why played. a lot of these yeah, niggas man, ain't gonna play no fucking work too. For real, that should help you out in the long run with a lot of shit. Should not hurt at all. Everybody should have an LLC for real. Like you, you are your business if you are an artist. Like you, you yeah, have to call the music business for a reason. Definitely. Oh God, I mean, it ain't all music. So, what is your favorite project or even a single? Of my own? Yeah. Shit, probably this last one I just dropped, "Face of My City," because it like it means something. I'm trying to put a spotlight on my city and help grow the buzz because it's like we don't got nothing going on there. Like you see, I had to come all the way out here to do this. We don't got nobody there who does this. We got nobody there to put together shows. We got nobody there bringing people there. Just you just gotta get it on your own. So I'm trying to put a spotlight on the actual city. Sound like I'm by the end. Yeah, the perspective hustle. is coming Fact. out. Yeah, for real. Feel me? We about it. to start setting the events up. Let's That's go. What you gotta do exactly. You just Let's figure out you gotta do it. Do it on your own. Like you wanna get it done, just do it yourself. Yeah, shit. Cause we used to throw shows and shit back in the day before it really got like shit popping. You know what I'm saying? So it was just rough. You is know. there events and venues out there? I mean. That can make it happen or not? Nah, it's Fire one venue that sometimes allows rap music, but that's it. Yeah, and that's rap is theater. So, like, they're talking about LLC. You know what I'm saying? Make y'all on LLC, get a little venue. It's yeah, not that. that shit. It's not yeah. that many. The city's small. Like, it's yeah, not. Yeah, it's you know. So, we, like, every it's time really we threw a show, we went to a venue either, like, out in NC or something out in Buffalo and just ran something out out there and then just threw it real quick. Yeah, the majority of my shows that I had be in Buffalo. Mm. Yeah, right on uh, Allen out there. Damn, that's Niagara Falls, right? Yeah. So y'all got no corner stores like New York? You don't be like that? <laughs> you know what? It's Niagara Falls. Then what y'all I mean, do in Niagara Falls for fun? Shit. When I was young, you get. When I was young, you go look at the falls, you go smoke down there. But once you do that shit a hundred times, it's like whatever. Shit, yeah, and it ain't nothing just, to really do. I ain't for, shit out here, but nah. For fun, there you just grow up and then you like leave. So, like you grow up, you, you get some money, you get, you're able to leave. So you, you go, got you steaks. So you got good steaks on spot. Chop House and Buffalo Fire. I said, no, nah, we go to Buffalo. And the Western Door in a, I a we go to Buffalo for everything. Buffalo. That is Not crazy. I think I went to Niagara Falls for the aquarium with my daughter. Yeah, I take my kid there. I ain't never been there. I, I gotta go there with my kid. Exactly. Exactly. You know, the, the, and I ain't gonna hold you. The lady there got me low key tight when we was trying to touch the fish, bro. Is that the like aquarium? She's acting mad weird, son. I don't even like to nah. touch fish. That's first of all, nobody. Fish or the seals? I don't know. Like, it's a little fish. shit that was there. I don't know, bro. They was flat. Is it stingray? Well, not a stingray because it's so stingray, right? Flat. It would. Be, yeah, it was flat. Was it stingray? Yeah. So the shit that you could touch, right? The teacher from Finding Nemo. So it's like everyone touching them. I don't see not one person touch, wash their hands or nothing. So I'm mm. like, fuck it. I'm mm. like, okay, go give it a too. pet. Mm. I ain't yeah. no bitch. I'm with my daughter. She on. You <laughs> see you know I mean? I'm like this. The white lady. No, <laughs> got on your ass. No. Uh, she wife. like. Excuse me, sir. She like. You gotta wash your hands. I said. Ooh, you called me out. Okay, I'm not <laughs> mad. This is your job. Sorry, you but it, you, you know what go. really got me mad at that fucking aquarium? I go to wash my hands because I'm like, I'm going to wash my hands. Yeah, you try to be respectful. I go wash my hands. There's, there's no soap. No soap. <laughs> I said, hey, miss. She's like, yeah, I said, 
I didn't wash my hands because there's no soap, so everyone else didn't either. <laughs> oh, just mommy. saying. And I walked away. Oh, like, hey, fuck out of here. I left. I stood there for about 10 more minutes, bro. Looked at everything mad quick and I left. She knew it was I didn't want to be here, nigga. Man. She knew I it wasn't no soap. Yeah, <laughs> like, you yeah. being a bitch. Like, you don't even want me here because my skin color. That's crazy. Nah, that aquarium was right down for real. That too. shit is so little though. Like, nah, what's up shit. with it? Like, it's been the it's, same shit forever. And it's so little. Like, I was expecting so much. We ain't got right, no aquarium. Do we got no aquarium? You think you're gonna pull up to some shit? No, oh, so yeah. And then Martin. you hear Niagara Falls. But now that I'm here, Niagara Falls is just a bunch of yeah, I ain't gonna bullshit. Whole, in the chapter going book, on there, like, if I'm correct. I think that's supposed to be part of the new plan, the new thing. Because what's the plan? We Rochester just got a bunch of like. Two point something point something. Yeah, but see, that'd be the problem. Anytime we get some money, they use that shit for the tourists because the tourists come to see the falls, so they don't like invest that shit in us. They make like the mall bigger. Damn. I ain't never been to y'all mall. Listen, to I mean, I guess it's good for your city, but what about us? Exactly. Y'all need to do it. Y'all need to do it. What about us? That was my shit. Talk about your tours. Shit, tours is pretty lit. I Speaking of people being on. funny about shit, though, you remember that bitch when we was getting on the plane in uh, uh, Victoria? Yeah, yeah, that little Canada. ass plane? Yeah, we was getting on the plane in this tarmac, and all these people taking anyways. pictures and shit. And, like, he just pulled out his phone, and this lady damn near tackled him. was like, you can't have your phone out out here. Please you can't put your do phone that. Away. I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo, yo no, I'm not even taking a picture. A nigga text me on oh, mine. And why is you so worried about it? this bitch in front of me is standing in front of me taking a picture? She was bugging out. And, like, we didn't even know that it was like that in Canada. It was like, life, man. Tour through Canada was cool as fuck. We went coast to coast, so shit was lit. Yeah, from the east to the west. From the west to the east. I'm not sure how many cities it was exactly, but shit, my favorite one was probably Toronto. It was also probably our biggest show out there, too. Nah, what was the one we was in the French city? What do you mean the French city? Like like the, the street signs and shit was French. That was Montreal. Yeah, yeah that was my favorite one, Montreal. Yeah, Montreal was was they had mad COVID rules, though. Like, everybody's wearing a mask and shit still. Yeah, some cities yeah. was bugging out. Like, we go in the venue and niggas still got a box of masks. I'm like, come on, cut y'all bugging. And Drop then, like, so we illegal, but they ain't want us to smoke inside the venue. Come on, man. Can we just... It was just weird, so... You booked the hip-hop. And then, yo, come on, we were supposed us. to take a bus uh, from Calgary to Edmonton. And this is just... It was like a hot hot shot bus, or cold shot bus yeah, is the name of it. It's just some bus service, private bus service. So it's like 70 bucks a ticket. Shit, you know how it be. So we paid these tickets, and we stand at this bus stop at, like, 6 a.m. smoking backwards and shit. So this dude walks up to us, and he just asks us straight up. He's like, yo, you guys smoke weed? Like the bus driver did. I'm like, obviously. We're like, yeah. And he's like, you can't come on a bus. We're like, why, bro? He's like, there's kids on the bus. You can't come on a bus. And so <laughs> like, oh, nah. I got families on this bus. I'm like, boy, I just got on one of y'all planes with a blunt in my pocket. And stop talking Are you about shitting me? Families on this bus. Said, nah, I got families bro. on this bus. Y'all can't get on. That shit's crazy, so. Uh, Seven in the morning, standing at some random ass gas station. They went oh, through my, my bag at the airport. The security picked up the ounce and then put it back down. I put it in my bag and just got on a plane with it. So we federally legal here. You yeah, telling me I can't get on the bus with this shit? Okay, never mind. Not the we bus driver. Well, niggas power tripping. That'd be the problem. And they still got the That's money different. too. They ain't even give us our money back either for the tickets. Yeah, they got the little hundred dollars. I'll be my bag. I ain't gonna hold you. It was a great. No, nah, I was fine with the weed in my pocket. I ain't taking nothing that's mine. But as it's far mine. as the shows, though, I really recommend like investing in yourself as an artist to go on tour with somebody. I mean, that's, that's the like whole a point. Super organic way to grow a fan base, and like you're really not gonna do it a lot at a time. You might do it like two people at a time, five people at a time, twenty people at a time. You do that shit long enough, like consistently exactly. enough. That's how you really build an organic fan base that's really gonna fuck with you, like. We both got people that we met in Canada still DMing us about new projects, still trying to cop merch, still wanting to come out to shows and shit, exactly. asking us when we you come back. You gotta branch out. You gotta want to branch mm -hmm. out. Motherfuckers be scared to say hello. Like, you just perform yeah. in front of all these fucking people. You're not gonna go out there and talk to none of them. What are you doing? You gotta go break the ice type shit, too. Exactly. Same thing with networking with other artists and shit, too, because if you even pull networking up to new cities, general. you'll find that a lot of artists don't really want to, like, talk. They'll kind of look at you like, too cool for school type shit. Definitely. But you really yeah, like, just gotta, like... And shit. There's 30 artists here. You gotta go. Ain't talk. Nobody talking. Everybody yeah. just five people over here. There's two people over here. Y'all like, oh, just cuddle up with who the fuck you came with. What did yeah. you come for? What's good with and the then they normalize staying for the whole thing, too. Bro, exactly. oh, I, mean, I be trying everybody. to tell niggas that. Watch everybody because we all here for a reason. Yeah, exactly. And then the let out is where you meet everybody. And like yeah, you just said, so with all the niggas who had a camera, anybody who had a camera, I need to talk to you. And those everybody conversations. Everybody who I knew was watching me, I need to talk to you. Like you got to tap in with the promoters. Motherfuckers be scared to talk. Those conversations that you have when the show's over too, like the headliner get off and everybody leaving, though, you really get good conversations at the end of those. You catch everybody walking out because it's just really VIP at that point. Like you was part of the show, so you back there. Like you need to take advantage of that as long as you can. So until they get in the sprinter and bounce, that's when you bounce, dog. So just 
people really don't take advantage of like the time and effort that you put into being out there. You might as well, you know, stay out and do that shit for real. There's no point in being scary about it. Motherfuckers like, don't understand what obtaining and actually having a fan is. Like, it's all these fucking potential fans out here. You're just going to stand on the side and smoke your blunt. Nigga, if you don't go say hello to these people that paid their money to come here. So what you think you thug or something? Like, <laughs> can't you just do that? Fuck bro. that. Even as the top tier person, I feel like you should be doing that. Enough is never enough. Oh, God. I mean, even Thanks. from when we just went on tour with Millie, even like he's, I, I would say he's at a decent pedigree in his career. He, he's up there as an artist. And from his interaction with fans, he's stand up. He'll talk to you. He ain't going to disregard you. He shows love to everybody. And like that's right. kind of shows how he got to where he was at. Like shit, yeah, people going word for word with his shit out there in the Midwest. He was he was snapping. So. Yeah, the Millie store was nice. That shit was more Midwest. It was like from all the way up in Michigan down to like Kentucky ish, Missouri ish. Facts. Like Ohio eight was cities, in there too. Eight cities, seven states. That shit was nice. Shout Iowa. out to Millie's and the team. Yeah, we signed autographs on that shit. That shit was lit. Yeah, niggas out there signing shoes and shit. What? Signed a t shirt. You got like. I ain't never signed nothing. You signed something before? Nope. Shit, that was yeah. my first time. Buddy caught me off guard too when he Dre, asked me. Dre, can I shit. sign your camera? <laughs> I want to feel like I'm signing. Can but I sign your I'm phone, saying, bro? You got to get off stage and go in the crowd. If we wouldn't have got off stage and went in the crowd, we would have never did that. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, motherfuckers yeah. get off stage, go right out the back door and leave. It's like, who do you think you are, my boy? Somebody trying to go home and get high off the pack. And that was really more type like, of that. Like, do you want like, this shit or not? That was yeah. a good thing. That was more of like an intimate show, too. Like, the crowd wasn't really too deep that night. It's probably like. 40, 50 people in there. It, just, it was just a tight space. But, like, exactly. another thing that artists do and make the mistake a lot of is, like, when you go to a show that's not as deep and lit, like, as you would expect it to be, you still got to give, like, 100% energy to that performance. Like, you still got to commit to it like it's a 1,000 people in there. Right, because some people <laughs> still paid to come there. Like, I'm they saying. still paid their hard-earned money to come there that night. So you got to give them a show. That's what the fuck they pay for. And it's like, no matter what, they about to leave with an opinion of you. So like, right, they might not want to make sure it's positive. They don't know who you, you know were when saying? you came. Facts. I don't know who the fuck you was when they came there, but you want to make sure they know who you are in a positive light when they leave. Oh, God. It should be At weird. At least that should be your objective. Nah, for real. Niagara Falls being so small, like, talk about the the music scene out there. I mean, like I said, it's hard. It's, it's artists, but it's, like, it's hard to bubble up and get out and, like, branch out. That's why we go on tours and, like, leave the whole state and just try to build our fan base slowly but gradually damn near nationwide you know what I mean can you okay. give an estimate of like a number of Niagara Falls artists? how many people in there shit yeah. don't give me a line to you. under 20 like li- like I'm if it's so small there's it no way it's 120 like, like define let me small, break it down like for you though like when I say like, under 20 I'm talking about like our, people our who I would say are like serious legitimate still, like they like really the want to take that crap seriously they really try to do something with it you don't gotta get on the highway to walk from one and he put most of them on tape one into the other in like an hour hour and a half yeah, like I've walked, like there's maybe like a hundred, like if you go from the bottom and then start the the streets, it's maybe like a hundred and twenty blocks before you start getting in the tunnel under. So I've walked from like 90th Street to 30th Street before. Yeah, you do that. Easy. You walk easy. Easy. So like you could, you could do something on the east and just walk to the west. Like you don't got to get on the highway or nothing. It's a very, it's down near a town. If you got a bike, it's over with. I mean, everybody <laughs> rapping. Yeah, <laughs> like uptown to downtown. Everybody nephew rapping. Basic streets. And I only heard of like four from Niagara Falls. I'm just saying. Shit, you like got, it's, it's you got me, you got Steve. And then niggas don't be wanting to reach out. What you got? You got Kesey. You got Kesey. 96 Gardens. You got Jadakiss. You got... And that's uh, part of the reason why I made the tape to like try to shed light and yeah. help niggas grow. But You got Green. Who else you got? Well, who else you got? That's what like I'm saying. That's part of the problem. Promote the way they need to. Like, yeah, nah. Tell me about it. And that's... Who- Say again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Rello. Yeah, Rello was on the last tape I put up. So, yeah, look, it's so small, bro. It's got the dust and know each other. They go to the same corner store even when they don't mean to. Yeah, everybody, there's only like, one high school. That shit That's is so small. little. If oh, you want God. the high school in Niagara Falls, you want the high school together. And the weird thing is, everybody knows who the fuck is. The whole city goes to one high school. People wow. are making this two get clicked up, too. Like, that means I would have been smashing up. everybody piece, bro. <laughs> yeah, I would have been in trouble there, bro. Imagine everybody. Niagara Falls, I would have been dead on my shorty. What Boosie said, if you kill somebody over some pussy and some ass, you a pussy ass nigga. That's part of the problem too. That's part of the problem too, though, because the high school is so small. I mean, the city's so small. So, like, you sixteen and this up with a nigga, you gonna see that nigga at school. Rochester's small. We got more than one high school, school, bro. 
Like, damn, that's way too small for me. Exactly. I ain't competing with nobody out there. We need to move to Niagara Falls. We gonna make, <laughs> we gonna come up, bro. All of us go out there Niagara Falls for a week. Let's go come up at the hotel room. Some Vlad TV interviews. It's gonna hey, make yo, some nah, money. Boy, I think it's, there's a hundred people out there rapping. We're going to every block. They all in the same block, bro. It ain't too far. Shit, not far. I'm telling you. Bro, they be having rap beef out there. Yo, uh, I was just about to ask that question. Kinda. Define. I mean. Niggas be having real beef and That's what rap. I'm saying. Like, I don't even want to speak mm. on it too much because like, it's like. I'm talking about like rap beef. Like, like, rap beef. Just, like nah, niggas be no. dissing each other. Like, nah, niggas be having real beef with some of them, right? It ain't um, no real, like. Nah, that's some real life rappers. They really be killing each other. Yeah, that's, exactly. that's dumb. That's cool. I'm sorry. I don't live that life. I'm listening to J. Cole every day. You feel me? And <laughs> nah, Ari Lennox and Sam Smith. I'm vibing. Yeah, I could live that life. Ain't no uh, intellectual disses or nothing. Uh I need to see more of that. And I'm not talking about disrespectful. I think I just need to see people lyrically going at each other. Like, who got the better Niggas be scared to do that. I know, but that's what I need to see more of. More like... Even here we had um, the Bills and uh, the Perko. Yeah, like... It looked as serious as you know that. It was just comical, yeah, like... Yeah, nah, that shit funny. (laughs) Yeah, but even shit like that. Exactly. Something need to happen out there. Y'all need to come together, man. Y'all could probably be scary. I'm trying. That'd be hard. Yeah, do because like I said, everybody want to do their own thing. Exactly. They'll be clicked up for real. You gotta exactly. get over that shit. It's just a bad like mindset to have. Yeah, my limiting. Be stuck in the way, in their ways. Like, and some niggas just want to be popular in the hood. Like, they don't care about all the other shit. Like, so you, do you want this shit or not? Like, you playing with certain people, or? you just gotta leave behind and stay where you at. Exactly. I'm not taking you where I'm at. I'm eating where I'm at. That's what I'm saying. That's why I started I expanding out. Yeah. See, not everybody see the bigger picture. You know right. what I'm saying? So, city so damn small, motherfuckers be stuck there. I'm like, boy, you go right across this bridge, you take an eight hour trip. Like, it's nothing to get in your fucking car. Oh god, you world. can really move anywhere, even if you broke. You just gotta leave. <laughs> you gotta oh, go, bro. You see that nigga walking in Miami? <laughs> Everybody was talking about that nigga at one point in time. Yeah, that nigga said you're not taking no shoes from nobody or nothing. I feel like he capping. He took some. Yeah, I don't know. I think you can't he, not. That's what I'm saying. Like, but like, cause nobody you're you're really not seeing him walk, but like certain times. So it's like oh, I caught a ain't. ride for a couple hours. That nigga was a nobody. You know, he ain't gonna say I gave him a ride. Like you know what I'm saying? Rides, he probably took a couple shit. rides, yeah, cut yeah, a couple right. hours, took a nap at the motel. He'll need just fucking slippers because I got cl- a complimentary so. ones. Like, he says, come free with the hotel room. I just stood out. They chat right. funding for me because I got a TikTok account now. Like, yeah, niggas is bozos. I think he did so all that. TikTok probably booming. Everything booming. But it's because it's what you're selling it to. Yeah, facts. I wish my TikTok would boom, man. I don't get shit, but like a thousand views, man. Two thousand views. Well, Shorty had the weirdest viral video on TikTok, bro. Yeah, that's what it'd be like. The most random video, just be like, bing bong, ten thousand. Like what? Nah, bro, shit, you ain't even think about. It was like right before our wedding, algorithm. she had posted her wedding. I be shoes, trying. So she got like. I think it was like eight hundred thousand likes on that shit or some yeah, shit. Yeah, like, people be liking shoes, random bro. shit. Son, they just and I don't know. Son, it'd be that random shit. And this shit was weird. That it just fell in the algorithm. It just fit in there, right or something. Like I don't know how it fit in there, though. It's, it's the true. time of day you post this. Shit. No, it is what you post. It's not the time it's of day. It's also the None time of that. Of that. Post, Nobody bro. wanna watch that, man. Give me the time then. Think about, bro, you got to think about the times people are at work versus when they at school versus when they are at home. I mean, I agree with you. There's definitely good timelines for it. There's always a good time of when they're actually on their phone. Do you think so? Because there's people in other countries using the same apps that we're using. So it's like, it might not be a good time right now to do it in Rochester, but it might be perfect timing in China because it's nine in the morning. Who the fuck do you have this? So how many Chinese people? I'm who, just who saying in ge- I'm just saying in general. China. You That's want a video to go viral, it don't fucking matter yeah, yeah, where yeah, you yeah, want it to go it, a viral at. Yeah. This is my time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's like me just working for just niggas in New York and all that. I wanna go worldwide and I wanna hit that algorithm. Fuck what you talking about. It's gonna travel how it travels, so but it goes time, through nigga. that, nigga. Wow. <laughs> niggas in LA. Go to the Bay Area and take me down there. You know, sons yeah, out, buns out with a hoes at. You feel me? Wanna be with the ho- Never mind. Y'all want to be with the hoes. I can't ask you. I don't want you to get in trouble. But y'all want to be with the hoes at. Still outside. Hey. Y'all know the vibe. Okay. On oh, a mommy. 
I don't know what I'm saying. Else. Nah, I ain't get in trouble. I'll deal with that later. We ain't getting trouble. I don't know how to deal with it, though. Not me. You deal with it. Shit. <laughs> What's next for you? Shit, as far as what I got, I'm working on my deluxe right now, facing my city deluxe. Shit. Getting a couple more artists from the city. Well, I'm trying to reach out to a couple more artists from the city, get them on there, like I said. Help put the spotlight on that motherfucker. Shit, I got City Docs side B out right now. Fuck. That shit's everywhere. And then I got a few tapes that I'm working on. I'm supposed to drop something in like two weeks. I'm about to City Summers is what that was supposed to be. It's supposed to be a summer tape. It's just a little late. Shit's like four songs. And then I got another tape coming nice in the fall. EP. And then another one coming in the winter. I just kind of just put on a neck tape. You kind of look like Macklemore. And shit, <laughs> it happens. Hey, man, it works. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Am I alone on this? Y'all don't want to say nothing. So consensus? <laughs> I didn't see it until you said something. You kind of like Macklemore, Yo. right? It's okay. I fuck with Macklemore. I listen to everybody. Macklemore so. ass, bro. <laughs> Man, you think everybody will listen to us at this point, bro. Majority I fuck with Chance the Rapper. Yeah, I fuck with Chance. Uh, I, I guess that's shit. the usual answer. It's okay. <laughs> I, I guess that's it. Let me see. Let me see who else. I can't even name nobody crazy because they don't listen to nobody. I listen to. I listen to a lot of soft shit. Y'all, y'all might not imagine that. But I like a lot of Adele's and the Sam Smiths. I bump that on the daily. So it's pure for the soul. Nope. And sometimes I heard that new Rod Wave. Yeah, it was all right. I think people hyped it a little more than what it should have been. I'm it was checking. some good songs on there, and there were some songs that people, oh my god, it's just Rod So you don't really, you don't really fuck with aggressive nigga. music? To an extent. Yeah. I'm not really, but if you could rap rap, I want to listen to it. I don't care if yeah. you're aggressive, I want to hear them bars. But, <laughs> but you, ain't but bumping, you ain't bumping Mozzie? Well, nah, I ain't bumping yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm, just, I'm just chilling, I'm Mozzie. just sitting. Free Mozzie, man. Black, I'm, 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 sitting, I'm sitting back and just vibing with J. Cole and Dreamville, and I'm over there. But I listen to everybody, because everybody just be sending me shit anyway. So I was like, hey, let me listen to this. Let me see what this is. It's some shit that I get sent, and the shit really be ass. <laughs> It'd be like that. I don't it's even know what to tell them, so I, damn, I can't even tell you what y'all do, because then they're going to know what I do. Right, I say, don't get us all But us all. damn, there's some niggas <laughs> so that's like, nah, ass, never mind, never mind. and I just be like, oh, what to say to them? You just got to tell them the truth. Sometimes. Sometimes, because you don't want them to just crush their dreams, and now they're just... I don't feel like there's dream crush. I feel like it's more like good advice, kind of. Like, you're not telling them to stop doing what they're doing. Constructive fucking criticism. Work on it, my yeah, boy. you just telling them to be reconstructed with it. And sometimes it don't be dumb. It be like, who the fuck engineered this? Like, who said this yeah, is all right facts. to start sending it to people? Who the fuck thought it was because all right? Because... Some... video, this shit ain't even mixed or it. It ain't always the yeah. engineer or the mixer. It's the artist who wrote it. Don't yeah, lie. some people just don't need to be on the beat. Some people just don't need to be rapping. I think it's just... No, yeah, exactly. Some people just need to give it up. They think it's trending and it's cool and it's what's hot, so they think that's I'm gonna be next up. No, nigga, you still with kiss pop music. Like sit your ass down and go make some music for my daughter. You should really like get your stems for your beats though too. Like when you when you get your beats. Like if you rapping like and you about to get a beat and make a song, you should get the stems for it. It's just gonna help with your mix quality. Like just pay the money for it. Stop rapping on them YouTube instrumentals. Self buying. Some niggas can't buy it. Some people need the YouTube instrumentals. Well, yeah, it's definitely a stage. Niggas but just like, need a rap. To a just point. come on a song and just make a song. Don't just don't be on there saying bullshit. That's what it is. Straight bullshit. How sometimes. can they not say bullshit if that's what their talent is? Hey man, some niggas then don't rap. Million off some bullshit. But they have too many niggas around them telling them that they're nice. So how? Niggas that's won't because tell them the truth niggas because is that's gonna, their mans. They gonna know. <laughs> not, they don't tell you that. They, <laughs> they tell. Like, nah, bro, that was nah, that was fire. You just gotta change this a little. Tell that man he ass. Fuck is you talking about? They, they, ac- again, my boy. they did. They accidentally dick ride just in case yeah. you make it, bro. That's all. We gonna be on your dick, cause bro might make it, cause some people listen to bullshit. Yeah, support sometimes. So I'ma support. You feel me? Don't a lot of niggas a listen to bullshit. Sometimes. I see a point. I we just talked know. about it last niggas episode. Niggas is bullshit. out here still supporting Blueface. That nigga's garbage. We just said that last episode. That nigga's he's more like a fucking reality show now. It's a feature, right? And that's what I was saying. It's more the shit that he's it's doing than his music. The music yeah. yeah, with that toxic ass, toothless ass relationship. Hey, bro. yo, Whatever. shout out to Bluetooth. <laughs> shout out. To She's Bluetooth. fire though. Oh, shout out to Bluetooth. <laughs> I oh, swear to God, I will send her. Her on tag? Yo, fuck that. What's her name? What's her name? Krishan Rock. Krishan? Her name is Bluetooth. 
Uh, shout out Krishan And if you fucking with the podcast I will send you personal tooth for my picture on it Tell Blueface that She probably got a thousand tooth for Blueface picture yeah. on it Well she gonna get one with unbothered Nas on it And again back is gonna be an issue Then they got a joy for the back You know what I'm saying You in <laughs> Where Fuck out And I'm gonna pull it out And <laughs> put it in at least once Bro I'm gonna fuck <laughs> And then when she And we're gonna record it When I'm done But like yeah alright huh? You feel <laughs> me <laughs> She got like Gangsta. three, she got just like, three like that. Yeah, she can get tattooed on me on her butt cheek. Firm. Firm. On body. Portrait? That's, portrait, if she wants to. I even <laughs> full pose for that. <laughs> Pin doll on her ass cheek of me. That's some light skin shit for real. Okay. <laughs> shit. Uh, how many females you can say gonna do that for you? I don't want it. Don't go around with that fucking label on you. It won't happen, though. Don't attach yourself to me like that. It won't happen, though. It won't happen, though, because I'm him. Yeah, all right. Him, H-I-M. You heard of her? And you gonna have... And I'm him. You gonna have I'm him. him. <laughs> so pause. You gonna have so many dudes. You can't get a girl. You fuck your portrait up. When they're dealing with that person, so why the fuck would you want to do that? But well, how he many girls would you want to do, do that? Right. He make a solid you. ass is the, point. And the real question is, purpose, the real bro. question is, how many females would do that for you? Is she gonna be willing to put your pin doll on her? No, I but she gonna, the personal portrait. She ain't gonna do that shit. I'm him. Yeah, she right. gonna do that. <laughs> you feel me? Whatever pose I want, she'll do that. I don't give a fuck if niggas violating because I'm violating their baby moms too. Why is that the same? Bro, you're not about to. It's not the same. It's not the same. No. He going back to her. No, bro. Eventually. Yeah, we different. No, it's not the same, dog. I'm just saying. Because one is just a nigga being a nigga and the other one is just classic disrespect, bro. Regardless of what. How? Bro, it's a tattoo. It didn't come out. You allowed off. her to put your face on her butt cheek and then when y'all done and she fucking other niggas they're violating your face you don't know how many on top of that you're fine with that because then everybody listen, gonna be listen, like listen, oh listen, 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 that's who that no, listen, 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 listen. no don't you attach ever had that shit to no, me no listen listen you ever had a bitch so y'all so seen you, you before you ever had a bitch yeah, that like he talking like he talking crazy I know I've seen like, like, like he look familiar right. he probably still got love for deep down and somebody okay. tagging it right now it's the same thing no it's not <laughs> it's a tattoo bro it's a tattoo it's nothing anyway. a tattoo is nothing <laughs> I don't give a fuck what he's doing because I'm violating on her face. Hey, man, fucking you do violating on her, on my face, on her ass too. That's not me, nigga. Yeah, moving on to another segment. I saw Word. this. I saw <laughs> this in another uh, podcast. I don't know who. I'm him. Name is. Shut up, nigga. <laughs> I'm him. I don't know. I don't remember what their name is. Excuse me for that. But the segment I saw, it was kind of like. Bothered. Kind of like just niggas being niggas, you feel me? And it's like, you know, y'all made mention of Ari Lennox earlier, so we're going to start so with her. Beautiful. The segment is called, you know, who who pussy better? Ooh. Who you think is better as far as celebrities or some shit? He niggas don't shit. care about going home. Huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> Summer Walker or Ari Lennox? I'm going Ari. Ari. Definitely Ari. Like Ari. Sure, I, Ari. <laughs> both so of them. <laughs> Summer beyond nervous and shit. It's just Ari. I've been talking so highly on you. I can't even do her like that. But Summer, what? What type? Come on. <laughs> Meg the Stallion or Cardi B? Megan, I want to climb on top of that. You Cardi climb Facts. Nah, no, definitely. I'll probably take Cardi. Yeah, she she going to try to get bugging. you locked up. You're bugging. Facts. Y'all bugging. This stripper pussy. Y'all could take that. Y'all it's bugging. Sick. Take it, Megan. I'm hopping on this stallion and I'm going crazy. Y'all bugging. <laughs> Yeah, she was yeah. an athlete. You want college pussy? That's why. Right, twig. Y'all got me fucked up. Taking that down. Hey, yo. Doja Cat or Ruby Rose? Jeez. Doja Cat, because that shit Lil TJ did was funny. You seen what she did just there with her eyebrows, bro? Oh, it's in the dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nah. Can I see a picture yeah. of her? So, this is in current form. Can I see? Wait, let me look up a picture of Ruby Rose. She got a bald head, cuz. It's okay. I thought Amber Rose was alright. Nah, but she her shit, her shit her looks scruffy too. though. Yo, that's different. it. Don't look like a. It don't look like a. That's like it. a blade ball. You know what I mean? 
Ruby. Ruby, Ruby. 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 Fuck it, I'm gonna go with Doja Cat because I don't. Shit, that's wait, that's not a rapper bro. with it, bro. Oh, rapper? Oh, she a rapper? Yes. I'm sorry, Ruby, for not knowing how I can't even spell rapper. This her? Oh, man. Yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, hold on, delivery. Mm. Hey, yo. Yeah, I'm taking Ruby. Shout out to Ruby. Facts. Man. I'm taking Ruby. Yeah, Doja Cat, take her. Bitch, I'm a cow. Get her ass out of here. Exactly. <laughs> I'm taking Ruby. I'm sorry. I'm taking Ruby. I'm giving her pink eye. Damn. Yo. That's a violation. Nigga, hold on. He's a <laughs> game, Hold on. Right, last one right here. Eye, this, this just to fuck everybody head up. Rosa Parks and Harriet Tubman. Who had the dump truck back Damn. there? Shout out to Rosa Parks. That was Rosa. <laughs> <laughs> that was Rosa who had the dump truck back there. No, that was Care. It was Harriet that had the dump truck back yeah, there. Yeah, but she was nah. On, she Harriet. was out there worried about other shit. A, this sounds bad. I'm sorry for even talking if about this subject. Old, Ruby told me to do it. I'm going with whoever had the man. dump truck. I don't Shout care. Out to Rosa Parks, man. Man, they both did what they had to do as independent women. I'm taking on with the dump truck. Dragging the wagon. I'm pulling up. Skirt, skirt. Fag. I see some son. shit they said uh, Harriet Tubman used to be knocking out babies. Knocking Yo, out I babies. heard that same yeah. shit. Who <laughs> used to do that? Like kicking Harriet and Tumman punching on like, 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 like through the woods like, and shit. Your baby started crying. <laughs> Wasn't it like white babies? Oh, <laughs> no, nah, she freed me. Nah, she freed me in the face. <laughs> we, is crazy. we in the basement. Your baby started crying and shit. Hey, cuz she was she beat ass. your baby ass. Go to sleep. Nah, she was like, you know. What I mean? Yo, <laughs> why didn't she have this that's shit? Murderous. Do this? A little that's a little murderous. Yo, that's gonna kill us, crazy. But that's I feel, it's I feel, real. Like, like was gangsta back we gonna get exactly. fuck gangsta. Get Let's get down or lay down. Like that's bad. Listen, that's she said crazy. they gonna fuck up our chances of. They getting was trying to get the fuck out of there. Exactly. So y'all niggas wanna be free or not? I understand. Mm-mm. I would never do it, but I understand. Mm-mm. But shout out to Rosa Parks, though. Facts. <laughs> but that's crazy. Punching out baby. I want to punch a baby. Not my what baby. Just one time. Not like. like. <laughs> you want to be put in the circumstances? Who's baby? Who's baby, who's who's baby then? <laughs> <laughs> but who's baby then? Not mine. Just a random junk? Not a random baby. Just yeah. a baby that knows she'll be doing what? Not, and I like. Like a baby like, that's around like, or like. I'm going to knock the nigga out on some Rosa Parks. I'm not doing that. Like, on some. <laughs> stop. You ain't supposed to be doing that. That's something you do to your kid, though, right? I don't do that to my kid. My daughter's oh. a baby. <laughs> That's my angel, <laughs> man. Uh, she can't be wrong, even when she's wrong. <laughs> you feel me? But someone else, kid, I be wanting to punch these little kids and they shit. Like, yo, shut your kid. Well, they be rude as shit. I be like, I wonder why people look at Some of them like the... kids don't give a fuck. Nah, they kid, some kids be crazy as fuck. Fuck. Some kids be wild right? Like my yeah, nieces right. think their parents is untouchable. Don't get me wrong, they big dogs, but <laughs> come on, chill out. Like right. they think they untouchable. So you know my daddy mom. is, nigga. Hey, yo. yo, then they mom, they don't let them get no no type of altercation with no type of women it's in over. the city. I'm gonna get my mom. And it's mm-hmm. over. Once my sister come, she don't go. Not yeah, even know what's going on. Done, she don't, yeah, don't even go right crazy. Now. She gonna ask after, like, okay, I'm sorry for what I did, but what happened? What happened? That's it. Like, go <laughs> ahead, let's talk about <laughs> it. Let's not break it down for what happened. Word. Like, I just had to let you know I'm not pussy. Exactly. Word. So we're gonna do another segment, and this one is called So You Think You Can Spell. Go ahead, go ahead. Let's go. Yeah, let's rappers. Go. I feel like rappers gotta have good vocab now. I don't know. Shit. I might just made that a thing in my head, oh, but it's a thing for me. And this is yeah. <laughs> Didn't go to college. First word is handicap. Handicapped. H a d i c a. You missing? You missing <laughs> an N? Oh yeah, I definitely am missing an N. <laughs> I can restart. Yeah, go ahead. H a n d i c a. Now is it two P's or no? That's the question. I give it that you, yes. Yeah, two P's. E D. Okay, he got it. Yeah. I'm high. I definitely missed that end. Thanks. <laughs> he did. I'm a dickhead. I just be letting him go like this is <laughs> So you going you just going nah, I'm said, a nah, dickhead. I just be I just be like do that. Say oh, cuz that's not right. You can't right. do that. So wrong. when you go to a spelling bee and they just be like and they done, they be like, and then they be done. Like, no, you was wrong, nigga. Next. Don't they not? So said, nah, you was done. You was wrong. Get out of here. And yeah. I, I, I might not. I'll be a dickhead to an extent, though. I'm going to tell you, yeah, you was wrong, but you only missed one letter. Facts, facts, facts. 
Uh, and I might even tell you the letter. I'm just not going to tell you where it goes. No, thanks. Because this is my shit. Yeah. <laughs> Second word is vendetta. Everybody should know how to. St- v e n d e t t a. I got this one. This one's cool. So I'm v- Italian. V for what? Because <laughs> I'm Italian, though. That's our shit. No, we do that to people. Yo, I ain't even going to lie to you. I wouldn't be able to spell this on my own. So I'm happy I had Google. Um, but it shouldn't be a hard word to spell. But for me, it was kind of difficult. I don't, I'm going to blame it because I'm Hispanic. Um, handkerchief. Hell no. <laughs> Is yo a I'm not a h a n k e r c h e c h i e f. You missed the letter in there. Damn. Son. <laughs> <laughs> he missed the letter, but you were closer than I would have ever been. The last time you seen. Is the a letter on the end. <laughs> I got the, the definition. It's the letter on the end of that. <laughs> Use as a decorative <laughs> pocket accessory or as a tissue. Oh, yeah. I had I them just in case people were dickheads saying, Can I get a definition? I got them for you. So I got, got them for you. I got them for you. I use it in a sentence too. No, I know what the joint is. I know where, yeah, but nah. So I see one. That's man. all I got. So that's what I mean. I don't know why I be missing a letter. Really. I'm going to start testing everybody. I'm going to do it at the house, too. My niece is like, hey, I'll give you a couple of dollars and you can spell all three of these words, right? So y'all want to have a spelling bee real quick? I bet you they be down. No, I got you. See how yeah. quick money's yeah, be down for money? Yeah. It's over. Get educated for bread? <laughs> this is called dad jokes with a bothered Nas. I like dad jokes. Yeah. Hey. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I like him already. He's gonna be one of the like jokes. He's in this nigga's corny. I just see him already. He's a player hater. It's okay. <laughs> I wish my daughter wasn't so sensitive about my frozen joke. Why is that? She needs to just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. Like this guy. My wife be fucking with Disney crazy. So she be yeah. Yo, I was, hey, my, kid, my kid was watching shit on YouTube and I came across all the parody Frozens. Yeah. Ice Queen. Shout out to Ice Queen. Ice Queen? I'm to watch that. I want to get home with my daughter. Because, you know, he just be watching YouTube. I went in there. I was like, what the fuck is this? Fucking Ice Queen. Like, nigga, you in here watching Frozen on YouTube? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look like it, don't it? Yeah. In high school, I didn't care for my mustache, but it grew on me. <laughs> Baby face ass nigga. Look at him now. <laughs> the glow up is real. He said, but it grew on me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I got, I got two more. I got two more. Okay. Have you heard about the cheese that went to the gym? Nah. Dude is shredded. I was waiting. <laughs> That's for, right. I expected that shit. <laughs> I, was I trying expected to think. that shit. I, I, I was trying to give you a little bit of time. <laughs> Check it like, a little time. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, this one you might have to bleep out the whole thingy, but it's okay, because I'm going to say it anyway. Where does a terrorist go when they die? Where? Everywhere. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, shit. Now, that's a good one. That ain't even like a dad joke, though. Don't don't tell that to your kids. (laughs) No? You wouldn't tell that to your kids? No. Oh, then when you say, what what he said, what do you call a white boy having a seizure? (laughs) Mm-hmm. A vanilla shake. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Is that a dad joke? Those ain't dad jokes? The That's, one. That's dad more joke. like dark Before. humor, but that shit is still like funny. Like teenage though. dad jokes. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's like your uncle jokes then. Okay. Want to hear a joke about pizza? I fuck with pizza, yeah. Yeah, it's too cheesy. <laughs> Yo, he- <laughs> Yeah, I, I had to do it. I knew, it. I knew that wasn't ready for that one, bro. I, like, I came that. in too too strong, bro. <laughs> I was feeling that. What's your spirit animal? Shit, on top I said wolf. A wolf? Yeah. Didn't you say a wolf? Mm-hmm. Why would you be a wolf? I'm native. I'm half native. Okay. I probably say elephant. Why you say elephant? That's big as hell. You know how people like always want to talk about the elephant in the room? Okay. <laughs> Why? His was a wolf, right? And then mine was a sloth. A sloth? Yeah. Just chilling? Yeah, just be chilling, peaceful. Yeah, just hanging they out. They want to be so negative, like, hey, you're going to die? <laughs> what the fuck? Why are you worried shit. about that shit, bro? So I'm just chilling shit. right now. Yeah, yeah, you worried yeah. about the They're wrong definitely shit. They're definitely in a peaceful environment. Get a hold of like, you. Like, I'm chilling, eating. Like, Does sloth have a natural predator? 
disease or, written and shit. Mm, like, they why? probably just an easy target. Yeah, probably not a predator. Slow mover joint. Yeah, they probably not like beefing with nobody. They don't got time for that. <laughs> 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 That was funny as hell for me, son. Yo. Yo. I like House Party. You ever seen House Party? Yeah. What's your favorite part? I ain't seen House Party. I ain't gonna sit here and cap to you. I ain't seen House Party. Ah, It makes sense, though. I'll stop. I'll stop. You never seen House Party, bro? Actually, I stopped at four. four Yeah, you know who put me on House Party? Manny. Ass. Manny put me on House Party. He actually gave me all the DVDs. So what that like shit? One through four. Was watching, watching like one through four, I had all of them. One, two. You <laughs> going eight. crazy you with it, son. Seen it and like you was watching it. That's yeah. That's how I should so, go watch that shit. Watching that shit. You, you ever heard of Kid and Play? Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's from that. Party. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there you seen Friday. Yeah. Okay, okay, I gotta make sure. So we gotta run down the list now. Yeah, yeah, like I had to say, oh no, white man can't jump over here. <laughs> Get him out of here. Never seen that. What? Nah, I ain't gonna hold that a little before my time, too. That's a good movie, though. You never seen that? Nah. Y'all gonna watch that tonight? No. That's a good Ain't movie. Each other. I'm, <laughs> I'm on, like, y'all need to do something. Dre, you I'll hear this? I watch Belly again. What? I said I watch Belly again. Facts. Before I watch Belly's it. fire. I watch Belly is... for the 300th time before I watch White Men Can't Jump for the first time. You like basketball movies? It's, so this one's not like your average basketball movie. It's I've not never like seen we're on a, It's not like we're on the team. No, I, I know what it is. Like I've seen the the yeah, plot. Like, There's some hustlers on the basketball court. So I like Wesley, but like getting too bugging. He said he never seen the Butler Rim either. By the way, Butler Rim's a good movie. What's her name? Yo, how you never seen these movies? I never cared for it. What's your favorite movie? Blue Hill Avenue type shit. Favorite movie ever? Yeah, what's like, your favorite movie? Between that and Belly, you said Blue Hill Avenue. That's a good movie. Between that and Belly, like What's yeah. your movie? Four Brothers. Four Brothers. That's a great. I like movie. that movie. I like Re- that movie. Reservoir Dogs. Probably. You said I got kids. Never seen it. <laughs> Reservoir, <laughs> Dogs. <laughs> Reservoir Dogs. That oh, shit fired. Oh yeah, yeah. fucks. What's your favorite, favorite movie, movie Dre? <laughs> I don't think I know either. You got a favorite movie? I go probably Goodfellas. Goodfellas. Never seen Goodfellas. Fire. Classic shit. Yeah. What are you doing with your life? <laughs> you know how many more references you, you have? You never seen Battle rap? Oh, that's crazy. One, those are the ones that have already been used millions of times. So I'm glad I've never talk. seen it. I don't but care you can flip it because you are you. Because that's why I am him. Because I flip shit. I don't care to use I does this. You hear this nigga? What? Mm-hmm, bro. Just not. That's crazy. There was another one. I was about to name it, but I forgot. What? I don't remember. Movie? Yeah. Y'all ever seen Joe's Apartment? You ever seen Joe's Apartment? Joe's Apartment. What the fuck is that? Nah, I ain't never seen that shit. Wow. (laughs) Damn. No, I don't know. That's a movie I grew up on as a kid. Nah. Mm -mm, Mm-mm. See, I never seen it. What's the movie about the... That's the movie about the mice or the roach? I don't know. It was a movie about the roaches old apartment. Was it Joe's Apartment? No? I never seen that either? Nah. Ringing no bells. I just, yeah, no, but I don't know if it was the right. No, I'm just asking. Like I don't know if it's the one with the roaches or the mice. Damn, it might have been the roach. Might have been the roach. I don't know what the fuck yeah, cause you ain't watched half the movies. I know. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Yeah, what? shit man. I know you was Damn, outside. Man. I get it. Damn. Yeah, what did you do? Yeah, yo, I was in the sports, bro. I oh, was you was that practice. Shit shit. Shit. What you play? Bro. I, what you I used to do basketball. That was my main shit. Yeah. But I was more so into music than anything else. I didn't really care. Fuck. And plus, my dad was my coach for a couple of years besides like two other ones. So, hell nah. I, I don't think I would like that. My coach. parent as my coach. See, and he used to try to bitch me a lot. Fuck out of here. I really That's why I'm like, gonna like it. He gonna bitch you. Do you he be making try, music outside did. of battle rap? Whatever. You be making music outside of battle rap? Yeah, facts. Okay. Of course. He could do whatever he put his mind to. I told him that. Oh, God. I just ain't got no project though. Yet. Yet. Come on. You got to talk. Shit's Yet. coming. <laughs> <laughs> you, got nothing, you got a lot coming. He showed me some unreleased shit. That, that was unreleased, right? Fire. Shout out to Nas. Nas and you saved that song. Um, um, the other boys did all right. But Shout they, out my brother, 5'7". GLD Mafia like, in the game. You feel me? Y'all yeah, need to come Boom. out here and start networking with some of the artists out here. There's a lot of talent on here. We got a show on Rochester. I'll be trying to. Uh, yeah, we like, got uh, we just booked Rowdy. The 26th. Okay. I got that through uh, Bills. Okay. Yeah. That's fire. 
So they coming to Rochester anyway. They said, we out here. We out everywhere. They do got mad shows everywhere. They were just talking about. That's what I'm saying. Like, y'all got a show here at least once, twice a month. Niagara Falls, we have a rap show, like, maybe once every six months. If that. Six months. A lot of showcases too. They put on like thirty nine artists. I'm gonna drive out there. We gotta drive out there. We gotta find a building, bro. We are gonna make it our venue building. We gonna make some money. Cause we with it. We with all the ratchet whole shit. Like <laughs> bring all that security's here for a reason. Facts. You feel me? In this establishment, we get LLC. We can get our liquor license. Bro, we about to be lit. What we about to call it? What you gonna call it? Nigga, what you gonna call it? It's your idea. <laughs> yeah, but it's no. us. It's a we. Yeah, we some kind of mean. But you thought of it, nigga. Like you trying to crowdsource the name and like I, nigga, I don't know. Think tank and shit. I'll call it. I am too smack for this right now. I have no clue. Like I don't know either. Bothered bar, nigga. <laughs> no, that's too generic and caca. I wouldn't fuck with that. Hey, I wouldn't even go to a place called Bothered Bar. Shit, I just threw some shit out there, nigga. I don't know. So I'm think tanking. <laughs> Do you guys charge for like a feature? Or y'all got like set rates for certain things? Uh, me personally, I like to work with people where it'll be a mutual. Mutual benefit? Yeah, mutual benefit. Yeah, shit. Oh, God, though, for real. I mean, I really, I really do a song with anybody. I mean, if I'm going to do a song with somebody random that they're just like asking me to do a feature, I'll probably charge them like a hundred bucks, but nothing, nothing crazy. Like, you know, so that's really about it. Because, I mean, based off, like, a lot of people in Buffalo really don't even be taxing for verses too bad. Facts. I mean, they kind of show love. I we mean, need to tap in with more Buffalo artists, for sure. Definitely. Have we did a Buffalo artist? I don't uh, think we did. No. We've invited a couple. Damn. Y'all should fuck Have with Jay Skies. I did one. We had uh, Black Seed. Black Seed. Like, I remember him. Y'all know who Jay Skies is? Name sounds familiar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He signed to Conway. Okay. Yeah, nah, he he be moving around. He be he be a good dude to get out here on his platform type shit. He be outside too with it. He, I know he's always with the interview shit. He was doing interviews only around tour and shit. Facts. Yeah, y'all should definitely tap into Buffalo. Yeah, I need to go to Buffalo. I need to go everywhere. Facts. I want to go around That's what we the world. To do. I want to go with the Asian women in China, not the women, the world, with the people there, not just women, everyone out there. <laughs> the I wanna, people. I want to go. The Paris, I want to do a show in Paris eating croissants on Eiffel Tower, bro. Muck banging up there would be crazy. <laughs> and that should be nuts. Would you do it? Muck banging on Eiffel Tower eating croissants. I'm trying to go Facts. to Africa, man. Africa? Yeah. Oh, we're bringing Musa. I ain't running from no animals. Fuck we that bring, shit. That's you crazy. Trying to go to Africa? Nope. I am. It's not it's cities, man. No. Nope. I am. He's scared he's going to catch Ebola. <laughs> That's all. I ain't never Dude, say I that. Know. That's his words. Man, that's hilarious. the goal. I'm trying to go back no, there. No. You can catch that shit in your left toe. <laughs> How do you define success as an artist? Um, in levels. I feel like success in like Denver, I guess. I feel like if you could go back to your hometown and get a good consensus of love, and like you could really sell, if you could sell out in your hometown where people really gonna hate you from the jump. Which is kind of weird, right? Because I've, I've just come to see when you like first start now making music and you putting it out, people around you, the closest, usually gonna kind of brush it off. You know what I'm saying? Because they know you as a person, they don't really know you as that artist. You know what I'm saying? So once you get big enough to the point where it's just straight love at home, and they just address you as that artist, respect you as that artist, I feel like that's a, a good level of success right there, or a good definition of it at least. You know what I'm saying? Just to be able to get to that. I just feel like once I, I can support myself and my family and my mom off what I love to do, I'll be good. Facts. And people don't really talk about like the independent grind as far as it is. People think you need to have like 50,000 people fucking with you, like die for you type shit to make it. And that's really not true, bro. Like you really 50 to 150 people, if they buy everything that you put out, like everything that they're guaranteed to purchase it, those 50 to 150 people, you good. Like, you could live off that. I'm not saying you go cop a Rari off that shit, but you could pay bills off it for sure. That's why I said, like, it's in levels. It's all about what your perspective is. Like, you want to be fucking little baby? My bad. You want to be little baby, or you want to just be able to, like, live? And like you said, whatever you put your mind to, like, if you want to take it to that level, take it to that level. Ain't nothing stopping you. A lot of people be getting in their own way. Like, scared to do shit, scared to, like, do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, you be on a worst enemy type shit. People be too hard on themselves. That's the majority of the time you're on worst enemy. Yeah. 
Fucking holding yourself back. Like. Then I say that and I'm so groovy. I'm just saying. Feel me? You just stop that shit. If I stop putting everything out, everything I do, bro, I'm going to clean my toes in the tub. I'm filming it. That'd be Dude, my problem, the fucking I don't media give part. Fuck. So, yeah, me neither. I'm lying. I don't even like going live. I gotta get my content up. I try to go live and I'll be there for yeah, like two like minutes. Live, live. Nigga don't like being Bored. outside. I'm no. like, nobody on here. I'm out. The fuck I'm gonna talk right. about, man. That'd be me. Don't nobody the tape, there. Man. Nobody saying that. We do shit, bro. They'd be yeah. like, dot, 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 waved. Hello to you too, <laughs> nigga. Like, what you want me to say to you? Like, <laughs> like yo, that's why man. I can't go live. I don't know what to say. Then I start painting. You gotta come out live with a plan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the niggas want to see something. I just, show, I just like show oh, snippets. Oh, show music me that shit. angle of this when you're doing this. I'm like, nah, I got time for I'm in the middle of something. Bro, bro, it depends on the. I don't know what to do on live. I need an assistant, dog. If you want IG, everybody definitely. You might need a media assistant. What's going on? If you want Facebook with it, everybody expecting some bullshit. Shout out to Facebook. I think Facebook's too local for me. Nah, I'm tired of it. Fuck out of here. I'm honestly done with like Facebook. <laughs> Facebook. A lot of niggas be telling bro. them, and they on their stuff. It's just so Facebook local weird. to me. Local. It's just so local to me. No, it is, it is it very. Weird it's, shit it's, like even more people is on Facebook is localized. I know it's just saying. so local, and it's just like that's all you're gonna get. What's your local. main? What's your main form of social media? You fucking with them? Me, I use it all, bro. Yeah. I shoot on Twitter. I shit on Instagram. I shit on Reddit. I, I shit on everything. I mean, that's how any you got to yeah. yeah, Any platform you can think of, we out here shooting that bitch on there. All types of content, Fuck. snippets, TikTok, oh, Snapchat. Like like I said, if you could put it on there, it's on there. Right, right. Like anything for you to see. Like, you, you, I can put an account and you got a bio. I might even shoot it in my bio for a work profile. Like, hey, yeah, that's my problem. I'm, I'm your co worker, but I have a podcast. Check it out. <laughs> like, that's <laughs> me. If I could, I got business cards. Like, like be shit. passing the motherfuckers out business everywhere. Business cards. Like, like tell a oh, friend yeah, to tell hard. a friend. You feel me? The oh, interview is going to be and on All the here. Ubers leaving them in the back like, of the window. Yeah, like. That. Tell a friend to tell a friend we out the, uh, here. We want to be right. out here worldwide by next That's year. That's how we try to tell niggas. Like, you got to promote, bro. Of course. Uh, yeah, of course. You been on a cruise? You been on a cruise? Said the water. You ever been on a cruise? Me? Nope. Yeah. Nah, I seen Titanic. Cruise is lit. <laughs> now you got to go on a you cruise. You had the, uh, the double lit. tapes? Double tape what? Titanic. Oh, I don't know. I just watched it. I don't care. When I had that shit, right? When I had that shit, you had to watch it. And then it started ending. You got to put the other tape in. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe. Maybe it was just on TV and not long. I'm not sitting down for no three Bro, it could have been a double. You got to do a double wide cassette. Cruises are lit. You got to go on a cruise and shit. Rose Dawson's titties. Where he painted her ass. Like, you just wanted to see the melon son? Yeah, facts. And they got busy in the little old school for it. Remember? Right. Never watched it. It's a no long, way. it's a no long ass love right. story. Why would he I'm watch it? I'm not sitting down for no three hour fucking love story, bro. I'm not sitting down for no three hour it nothing. It makes sense. Your choice of music. Nigga, I listen to more R and B than rap. Make that. He said that makes sense. Ooh, that's why you don't listen to music. I listen to. Cause I listen. I watch that. You listen to music that you like to cry to. You like the Grinch. <laughs> you like the Grinch. Yep. I could tell, but you won't like Titanic. Oh, shit. The Grinch was my shit. It was mine, too, but you never seen Titanic. Yeah, but no, the Grinch was Titanic. That's like... You can't even compare it to... different spectrums. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Like, like you talking about. That's some whole it's other shit. It's a movie to a movie. Ain't nobody got compare. fucked in the Grinch. Yeah. You got a point. I guess. He said it was funny. It's okay. Shout out to Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey's a great actor. Nah, he's a goat. I'm being an actor, too. I'm about to be everything in this lifetime. Whatever you could be, I'm about to be it. Facts. Whatever you put your mind to. I'm an entertainer. I'm about to be worldwide, about to be on stages. I'm about to tell everybody how they look crazy. Oh, you can't hear me? Well, I'm protecting the mic like it's about to get hurt or something. <laughs> my fault, my fault. It's okay. So when's your next show? Uh, Rowdy. Yeah, that's Rowdy? the 26th. Oh, that's this month? Yeah, I think so, yeah. And then after that, we got a festival in Lansing. Who we got that's out here performing there, too? Uh, Rich Baby. Rich Baby is performing. And after that, we go going to Michigan for a festival, a Three Steps Music yes, Festival. Yeah. Wasn't that Nino dude what we going into? Yeah, I thought it was like three Nino people from Rochester. Yeah. I thought he was. I don't know. People oh, nah, that was the boogie he just performed at. I don't know. I don't care. I don't really listen to none of them. Shout None from Rochester. From, shout out to who? 
Everybody we was just talking about. Well, to an extent. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> nah, for real, that ass to an extent. They ain't out here shouting us out. Still. I don't show love sometimes. I need, I, need love. The, I need the love. Because I need love. Show. Depends on how you say it. You got to show love to receive it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you show too much love. We don't receive shit. That's why we don't need your love. <laughs> we gonna make it without you. Nah, I'm not gonna make it. Any of y'all freestyling? Shit, I was just saying, you wanna hear some shit? I kick some shit right now. I just spit some shit. You just wanna hear some shit? Oh, he said you don't even need to be. We doing acapella? Yeah, we acapella? Yeah, we got a second it. acapella. <clears throat> Check it. I said, hey, listen. I bet my chain way to break your neck. And he ain't really got no bread. He get them paper checks. And I be playing with them packs, and I run it back. And I bet Benelli blowing back and put a hole in chest. And his fucky little vest, I tell him shoot his face. Told my young and leave him there, and he could keep the face. And it ain't nothing putting money on them dinner plates. It's dirty K, it kick him in his mouth like it's Louis Kang. I'm full of range to fully spray and hit his body frame. Flipping whips, these pap clips is longer than your Mondays. Every day I fundraise, I'm serving on these Sundays. I'm running down and letting off, and that's how I be running game. Beast mode, boy, these Teflons be running through your face. Hey. Boom. Yeah, but yeah, we be, we be spitting a little bit. We like doing acapella shit on stage too. I do acapella sometimes. I can't do it. <laughs> you can do acapella, you're not good at it. Nah, you ain't even like acapella battle rapping, man. Bro, I'm asking bro, the wrong nigga. Bro, everybody started off doing acapella, my nigga. So that's how you learn to I perform. I'm not going to do it, no. <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> Said I'm not rapping for y'all niggas. No, 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 no. He be trying to charge me, son. Like, bro, bro, I'm not you, free, you man. Gotta, you Don't do that. Bro. Like, I need the bag. If you ain't got the bag, I ain't rapping. He that nice. Like, he that's that cat. nice. That's like, cat. that's how he be feeling. You just gotta like, tell him about your life type shit. He on top of the world, like, with it. Like, this is Rochester's best battle rapper right here. Talk some shit. Come on, you gotta talk shit, man. You battle? Facts. Like, Verbal War Zone, Unbothered the, ENT, you feel me? The best battler out here, and I'm talking shit for him. He taking whoever want to battle him September 23rd. Y'all got some niggas in Niagara Falls that want to battle and die? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, some battlers out there. Hey, they want to die though? Like, cause my man's going to slaughter him. We could for I mean, say, we could for real, we could some shit up. I know right? somebody that'll probably battle. We got a battle, what's up? We got a couple. We got a couple people out here that will battle. Y'all got a couple people, bring them out here. What's up, what's up? I know one that will. I ain't going to say I got a couple, but I know one that will. Well, y'all know one that will. What's up, pull up? I'm hit him. What's up? I'm just saying that's gonna be one less body coming. I actually that little ass. <laughs> Cause Groovy taking them out. If they battling Groovy, yeah, yeah. they done. If they battling Nas, they, why they done. Why they gotta battle me? Why can't they battle Sheesh? Say, damn, why you gotta put it? They can even battle my man's Fredo. He'll torch him on smoking a high. Facts, so right? Yeah, that's yeah. how you're supposed to feel. Yeah. He said with the silky, he gonna kill him. <laughs> no, fat man, he a villain. You feel me? I'm not gonna do this. You be rapping a little bit? What's up? Oh, something, something. Me, nah, I do poetry. You be with that? Let me, guess, let me hear a haku. Nah, that's how I started. Let me hear a haku. I don't even know what that means. I'm not that poetry ass nigga. <laughs> nah, <laughs> I started <laughs> off a rap with this nigga. Don't cap, bro. I do a little bit of everything. Like 13 syllables or some shit. Like, Ooh, yeah. somebody yeah. want to get an yeah. English class over. You falling asleep over here? I said, I don't know the Meditated? definition now. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's every other line you gotta trade off. Okay. Um, no, I actually don't. We not have another segment. You said we ain't got no segments. We ain't got nothing to do. We just here. I want to appreciate you guys from coming from, um, all the way from Niagara Falls. Fact, yeah. Shout out Niagara Falls. Yeah. That was really dope. Now that we know that it's so little, man, we got to do more with Niagara Falls. Man, tap in. Entertainment, tap in. Yeah, yeah, let's do up. something. We, let's we go all to do casino, something. Bro, I'm down to do up. something with Niagara Falls. Now that I know that you ain't got much out there, I'm down to go out there. Tap in. Nah, nah, we're nah. We go to the casino in the falls. It's a Niagara Falls casino. They got this steakhouse, the western door in there. That's just fire. The Seneca Casino. Shout out to the natives. You had some wagyu before? No. Come on, bro. That's too expensive. Now nah, we about to go oh, get you that. Gotta, you eating? Yeah, I'm fucking with sundowners though. I've been there. That's that shit. Yo, you be liking that? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, What's so that? you know a sundowner is how if you put a twenty dollar bill on your face, you lay down a bitch, come pick it up with your pussy, and now you gotta think like, how many people got twenty dollars, right? It's a lot of bumpy lips outside. Mm-hmm. I had, um, five, what? <laughs> yeah. She she that's they some they have some crazy mm-hmm. shit. Prostitution legal in Canada, so, bro. Oh, really? They have some weirdo <laughs> shit out there. 
Yeah. Yeah, facts. Yo, well, <laughs> I'm still Kansas, stuck though. on the grabbing we money just with the on. pussy lips. We just gonna go yeah, forward. We not ending right. nothing. What the what? <laughs> that's real shit. Bitch, never you seen do it? that. That's some weird Never shit. seen that. That's Norman Niagara Falls. <laughs> hey, <laughs> what? Well, no shit like that. That's Canadian shit. That's Canadian shit. That's Canadian shit. Sundowners in Canada. That's some Canadian shit. That's what they do, eh? Then they be like, sorry. Yeah, they weird up there. They ask you if you want poutine and shit. Fuck. I can't get over that. That was episode 42, right? Yeah, 42. Unbothered Entertainment Podcast. Make sure y'all tap in, subscribe. Hit that bell over there. Make sure y'all get notified when all our videos drop. Follow everybody. Shout out to Unbothered Follow, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button because y'all like to watch our videos but not subscribe because y'all play your haters from the sideline. It's all right. And that's why y'all not going to be nothing in your life and your mom should have swallowed you. But it's okay. And you ugly as fuck So just subscribe If you subscribe This for the kids You know the kids listen to little shit like this If you subscribe You know the doodle head So subscribe and hit the like I was full of episodes ago I was too aggressive You see this fucking change The double stuff. But now you're not saying nothing So now I gotta be aggressive for you yeah, So I'm putting in the work Niagara Falls, for both of us Shout oh, God, out to yeah. Niagara Falls, New York yeah. The 430 city. people there in the Wagyu <laughs> steak like two, that I'm about to go try. <laughs> nah, we about to pop out of Niagara Falls. Yeah, it's up. a battle rapper from Niagara Falls that's going to fucking die. But it's okay, because we're going to give him the opportunity on the platform. Let you me not scare him. Shit, yeah, Let facts. me not scare him, because he really might be you nice. You on coming to Rowdy? Rowdy? I don't know. I don't think I am, to be honest. Him, he not going to that. Dre <laughs> Mike, because he's the cameraman of the year. And Fredo's a rapper, rapper. Only if he want to go do a feature with him, he'll go. But I don't think he want a feature for Rowdy. <laughs> well, if so anybody popping out, let me know. Well, he going to be there, so now we might have to go. Oh, God, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go show Niagara Falls some love. Bring my camera. That's I'm just learning how to zoom on it. Shit, man. Mm-hmm. Fucking mm-hmm. area code mm-hmm. change and shit. Yo, that is crazy. Niagara Falls is in the building in Rochester, New York. And we just did a second collab with Niagara Falls. On episode, what is this? 42. 42 I almost said 34. Damn, I was way off. Hey, kids, don't do drugs. Right, Thank you. Cook. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Shout out to the family. Too.